Paolo Uccello, or Paolo di Donno as he was born, was a Florentine artist and mathematician who lived from 1397 to 1475. Similar to Donatello, Uccello had an apprenticeship with the sculptor Lorenzo Ghiberti, who did the Florentine baptistry doors. At first, these paintings seem a complete mess of frantic individuals and animals. However, at a closer glance, it is a very carefully thought out series of paintings. These paintings were originally commissioned by the Bartolini family, but Lorenzo the Magnificent, Cosmo de' Medici's grandson, decided he liked it. And thus, in 1492, the paintings were moved to the Medici Palace. Those of you who like the TV show The Borgias will recognise this set of paintings from the episode about Lucrezia's wedding. They are hung on the wall of the prince's dining room when Cardinal Della Rovere visits. Della Rovere was also a patron of the arts, so expect some posts soon as we approach the High Renaissance. These three paintings depict three different scenes from the Battle of San Romano, which was between the Florentines and the Sienese. This was an extremely topical set of paintings, as the battle had occurred in 1432, less than 20 years before this commission. They show the moment when the Florentine horsemen were trapped in a valley by the Sienese and were rescued by another lot of Florentine horsemen when they were sent to their aid. It has been suggested by some art historians that these paintings represent dawn, midday and dusk because of how long the battle lasted. Furthermore, these paintings all use linear perspective to draw the viewer's eyes to the height of the battle. Uccello is a perfect example of an early Renaissance artist struggling with embracing the new revival of antiquity but still clinging to the Gothic style. He was also obsessed with perspective. According to Giorgio Vasari, who wrote about the Renaissance artists, Uccello would stay up all night perfecting perspective. This is extremely evident in these paintings, as the figures are not very well painted, but you can see the care Uccello has put in perfecting the perspective. The first painting depicts Niccolo da Tolentino leading the Florentine army. Here, he is shown not wearing a helmet, but rather a large red and gold hat, which <laughs> suggests something about his character. Above the battle scene, we can see a couple of fields and roads leading away. Now, if you look closely enough, you can see two messengers that Da Tolentinos has sent to Attendolo, who was an Italian condottiero with whom an allied army were waiting. In terms of perspective, here the lances are seemingly scattered on the floor and some dead men lie there. However, these are actually very carefully placed as orthogonals. These cause the vanishing point to be just by the red hat. This second painting shows the three stages of movement between the three-part painting. <laughs> it's like Inception. On the left-hand side, the army is about to move with lances at the ready. In the middle, Michelotto da Cottignola, also known as Michelo Attendolo, who I mentioned earlier, was Florence's ally. He sits on a rearing black horse, commanding his army forward with a raised right arm. On the right-hand side, the army are shown preparing their lances. This third painting shows the moment that Bernardino della Chiarda, the Sienese mercenary leader, was thrown off his horse by the Florentine army. In the background, we can see hunting fields, with a rather strange tall red figure marching across the scene towards jumping animals. Furthermore, in the background, fields and roads are different in this painting from the previous one, which suggests that we are viewing the battlefield from the opposite direction, perhaps. So that is everything you'll need to know about these three paintings. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please leave a comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see.